My reaction to being nominated, I was excited. Um, I'm not big in the spotlight, but I do appreciate that I was recognized um, for being Teacher of the Year. The people that put me in for it, they wrote some very nice things that I hadn't thought about, so it was, it was pretty exciting. When we think of the word teacher, there's more to it than the academics. There's also the extraneous, what else do they do? So I think when our Sussman staff thought of Robert, they think of all the extras he does. He's the guy when someone has an issue, he says, well, here's how you can fix that when it comes to synergy. Here's how you can fix that when it comes to this. At the end of every single day, uh, I'm outside doing uh, duty. He comes out every day, he doesn't have to. So I think the real reason uh, is just how involved he is on our campus and the extra stuff that he does. Mr. Wise is the best teacher because he really just makes the whole class fun and he's the reason that I'm doing honors biology next year and he's really just like a dad to everybody and he's just like a mentor and he's, he's just the best teacher that I've ever had. Mr. White's the best teacher because he's funny and I like most about Mr. White's class that it's a good learning environment and like I said he's really funny so it just um, mixes in really well. Mr. White's the best teacher because he's honestly there for everyone whenever they need it whether they're down or he'll listen to all of their issues and he's really just makes all of what we're learning about so much better and he just makes everything super fun. Mr. Wise is the best teacher because he's out of the box with his thinking. He really tries to think of what the students know and tries to adopt that into his, uh, his lectures. And he is just nice and every, everybody likes him. He's the best science teacher I've ever had, ever. When I think of Robert and I think of his teaching style, it's practical. He tries to make science a practical application to the kids' lives. He wants those kids to understand the importance of his class outside of his class. Everybody always says, well, how am I gonna use this in real life? So he tries to make his classroom as engaging as he can um, so that they can grow to understand uh, not just their academic knowledge, but their knowledge for the outside world. I hope my students just learn to love science. Um, Part of the problem right now with, with kids these days is that they hate coming to school and I try to get them into my class and have fun with them so they enjoy the classroom and if they're enjoying the class they're going to learn something whether it's one bit of information I taught them today or everything I taught them. So my, my goal is I hope they just take at least one piece of information from today and learn from it. Congratulations!